and Sean Merriman are back. Time for my favorite segment. <laughs> Anti-social got my Twitter off here. Our social media manager, Darnell Smith, is here to tell us what's popping on those Twitter what streets. Up, what up, homie? What up, dog? on, fellas? Let's <laughs> track a lack of back. My Let's man. Am I all black on this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We about to kill you. All right, Let's what's popping? All right, man, we're going to start off talking about the Pro Bowl. Yep. With life's oh, favorite boy. quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, ruffled some feathers by wearing this Charger jacket in the rain. Chiefs fans are pretty upset, dropping angry tweets and gifts after seeing this on TV. I think people are reaching on this one. Mm. Whitlock, you're our resident Kansas City fan. But what do you think? I wouldn't be caught dead in Chargers gear. Wow. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> and you sandwiched between us. Let's talk. I Let's be, talk. I wouldn't be caught dead. But look, if it was raining outside and it's cold in Orlando or whatever, I don't mind him putting all the, you know, he, he just did it because it was raining, man. You, you, you're you not going to give me the disrespect. No, he did it because y'all cheat. If y'all want to say send some equipment to yeah, Orlando. Hello, y'all need to address? Like every other team was sending stuff to Chargers in a bunch. Because we send a bunch of players, too, as well. That's oh. Oh, yeah, shots That's fired. what we do for that. I, I, looked, I looked at it as he was throwing shade. Because I, I remember back in the day where I wore a Raiders hat one time. I was basically saying, I own you. Right? I own, it, I own a team. I was throwing shade. I think he's oh. quietly throwing shade. Ooh. That's how I looked at it. I didn't think it because of the rain or anything else. I, I just I thought he was throwing shade. New wrinkle. I really don't think it's any of that. I think he just, it was he was getting rained on. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me get that. Let me get that. Put that on so I can get, yeah. stay, you stay dry. He, he, they missed that big bolt on the left side I of the I don't even yeah. think anybody thought of it. This is the one time your jersey, your helmet, it don't even matter. He's probably Pro saying, you know, if Philip no. Rivers ain't good enough to be here, I'm going to be here. He's done it, Philip. Hey, yeah. Trying to show y'all a little love. At least no, one hey. Hey, hey, Patrick Mahomes, I don't want to know, right? He out there cursing on TV, <laughs> wearing any old jersey. Come and do it a little bit. Yeah, if you pee, baby, I'm going to be on the death row. He ain't tripping. It's my lead, huh? All right, Darnell, what's next? All right, man, let's talk about a story you guys touched on earlier. The controversy in the NFC Championship. More fuel was added to the fire after people found out that the four of the referees in the game were from Southern California. Social media was predictably outraged, calling them cheaters, and claiming that this was proof that the matchup was rigged. Again, I think the fans are reaching here. We all know there's plenty of opportunities the Saints uh, had to win, but you, you guys think this is fishy? I, I think it's a total non-story. Because first of all, you got to find four Rams fans out here in L.A. And you can't tell me what? that the four Rams Man. fans Wait, out Chargers here. Wait, Chargers and Rams get smoked? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about Rams. I didn't, oh, I didn't bring it. Oh, 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 Chargers would be hard to find two besides you two. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Black. 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 Hey, the, the rest being from SoCal, man. Big deal. Big deal, right? This this ain't no part of the conspiracy. I don't even know why they Adam Shepard yeah. put this story out. Why they Yeah, exactly. I mean, where people live shouldn't have to dictate what their, their rooting interests are. Uh here's a here's a fun fact. Eight out of ten NBA players live in LA, damn it, all season. Seven out of ten in NFL. Six out of right. ten baseball. Right. right. Half of them mock you. Everybody want to live in L.A., dog. So you're going to act like you won't have anything in this world, entertainment, sports, anything, if you want to discount or exclude L.A. residents. Come on, man. Just how hey, it the Rams just got to L.A. Come on, man. The refs probably been in this league forever. Like, it's a non-story. We're yeah. digging. They're digging. They're trying to find something. This nothing. When I seen this, I said, you know how many refs I ran into in San Diego, especially downtown of the gas plant, where I spent 75% of my time? <laughs> <laughs> I would see them all the time. I would go by and tap them on the back and say, hey, man, you going to call that? call I'm still getting hell right now you right. still ain't called it right so I would see guys all the time and they would give me they would give me stuff all I mean it's just it doesn't matter and fans don't get it even during the games refs are cool you be like hey man yeah. you be like yeah, yeah yeah and then he throw the flag right on you be like hey dog I thought we were cool right, right. they don't they care, don't care. <laughs> they don't, they don't care. care I'm saying the wording of this story bothered me because mm. as a journalist I, I don't even get uh raised eyebrows around the NFL if that's your new news pick, that an eyebrow raised and therefore that justifies a story, that someone said, ooh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. If that's all it takes to get on the front page of a news outlet and to fan the flames and besmirch the integrity of people, mm. that's a really low ball. I will say one thing, and I heard this. They said, let's not take the referees out of what they've earned, the NFC championship game or championship game level. Put them in KC against the Patriots and the NFL. Let's just be smart. Big business. 
it's not the best optics to have four LA residents playing. If they have it's an option. It's not even something they thought about, I guess. That's the right. point. It's not. Uh -huh. And if you are a big business, you need somebody who getting paid 27000 to think about the little things. Right. And pay that person to do a moment like Look, this. New Orleans put them first two possessions in the end zone. Are we talking about these refs? No. Nah, Thank you. Nobody would care. Thank you. Here y'all go. Right. Yeah, what city is Sean Payton from? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darnell, what's, what's next? Yeah, our guy Eric Van Jimmy was on First Things First this morning. He's talking about a bounce back game from Todd Gurley in the Super Bowl. Take a listen. It's easy to be gracious in victory. I think if the Rams had lost, this, this whole discussion would be different about mm. why would they use CJ instead mm -hmm. of Todd Gurley? How can you leave him on the bench? He averaged seven. Now, when you win, everybody's like, oh, yeah, so you know, it worked well. Every slow right. clap. To me, you need to give him 15 carries in the Super Bowl and give him a chance to be the player that he's been all season. Y'all expect Ty Gurley to get a heavy workload on Sunday? Uh, not because of anything that happened last week. I, I, I think I'm hopped fully on the Sean McVay bandwagon. I don't think Ty Gurley had a problem with this. Ty Gurley dropped two passes. One of them was an interception. He didn't deserve snaps last game. Yeah, he did. Um, he does need to get restored and returned back to favor and to where he is, is of greatness. It's tough, though, because C.J. Anderson, if he goes out there in those first few carries and it just looks... I mean, running back is interesting because you can see the lightning yeah. and electricity mm -hmm. difference from one to the other. So it could be the same hole, it could be the same play call, but it looks different. And if it looks different again for C.J. Anderson, Gurley might get benched again. And I think he has to. He has to in order for them to win. I think you can go out and, and beat the Saints that way, but you won't beat the Patriots that way. So I think he has to get the ball in order for him to come out with a, a victory in the first place. I disagree. I don't think he has to. They, they've won without him. And I think, number one, Todd, you can't, as a player, Todd Gurley looks shook, bruh. Mm. Like, in that game, he looks shook. He looked different. Like, I yeah, got... If I he need, wobbling around, I'd be shook I, too. I, 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 under, I understand. <laughs> right, I understand all that. I put, I put that... I need you on the sideline right now because it's working for him. Look, yeah. he dropped two passes, and then I think on three pass plays, on two of them, he was hot garbage. Yeah. Right. Blue, he pass, said it. Soft and pass protection. I had no problem with how they used him last week, and if he doesn't play well, he won't play this week. All right, we got a new element for antisocial. New element. Darnell, take it away. It's Darnell. That's my guy. My guy. My question of the day. My guy. My guy. Yeah, so. Man. <laughs> Don't hate on your boy. No, no, no. You love him. Okay, no. okay, yeah. You're but you wasting your talents behind that desk. <laughs> on the stage. You hear that, Whitlock? <laughs> no, I didn't. Go it. ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. Ever since we started anti-social, I've had a chance to be in front of the camera. I've been having random people just reaching out to me from high school to middle school. Mm. People I haven't spoken with in years. And it gets kind of confusing on 